So I'm always fascinated in seeing the workflow of other filmmakers and I'm actually going to be shooting a concert tonight in just a few hours so I thought I'd make a quick video kind of detailing my preparation process. The key to a good video is good pre-production. Personally, I like to bring as little gear as possible so I'm not distracted and I know what I'm going to bring is enough to get the job done. So with that said, let's start with the bag. So the bag I'm using is the Lower Pro Pro Tactic 450 AW backpack. I've had it for a few years and I like it a lot. It's a good bag and super durable. So I'll start with the lenses. I'm just gonna take my 50 millimeter and my 30 millimeter, which I probably won't use because I have my 17 to 40 on, which is what I'm shooting on right now. I'll pack my Zoom H4N portable recorder with a 32 gigabyte memory card, which I'm gonna connect to the soundboard so I can capture all the audio on stage. And also my Zion crane, which I'll rely heavily on tonight. I also am gonna put a camera light in there and I put my batteries in this pocket and I bring one extra Sony battery because I live on the edge. My camera is the Sony a6300 and I'm gonna be shooting in Cine 4 with cinema color space. Okay, now that that's done, I can get into more important things. I really like to watch a few sample edits of something similar to what I'm going to shoot just to get some inspiration. Next, I like to take a nice long nap to get my mind and body relaxed. I think napping really gets the best ideas flowing and unlocks some creativity before filming. Oh, and I have to shower. That's mandatory. It's important to eat. That's a critical element of filming. Don't overlook what you're putting in your body before you go shoot. You want to feel good, energized, and focused. I also like to get a good stretch in before I shoot. I think it really helps me uh, just get my body ready. And I call in my roommate and he's usually pretty good about giving me a hand and just limbering me up. The last thing I like to focus on is my kit. I think it's really important to put some time into your outfit. And I think a lot of people will tell you to dress comfortably for the job, but I think that's bogus. I say style over comfort every time. Because if you look good, you feel good. And if you feel good, you make dope shit. So now let's go over what I'm wearing quickly. I have my thrash shoes on, which are nearing the end of their life, but they are good for going hard at shows. So I'll give those a three. Some dickies, but take note, they are exposing my socks. So that's a six. And I've got my mustard shirt on, so that's an easy 10. And my hair is also looking like a 10. But I am worried my score is a little low. So I'll go ahead and add my favorite bolo tie just to spice it up and add some more flavor. So that's another 10. Adding that up, um, I'm sitting at a 7.8, and you don't really want to be leaving your house with anything less than a 7, and if you're concerned about what your score is, then it's probably less than a 7. And if you need any help, go ahead and shoot me a DM on Instagram, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Alrighty, now I feel like I'm ready to rock. It can be really stressful preparing for an event, especially when you overwhelm yourself with a lot of gear. Luckily, I keep my gear to a minimum and I pack light and I'm confident everything in my bag is everything I need to uh, go do a good job. Um, so the last thing I like to do is just double check the address, make sure I know exactly where I'm- Fuck, it's 10! Oh, what? Where did the time- Oh, sorry, one sec, let me just- Fuck, oh god, Pete, oh, please don't pick up, please don't pick up, please don't pick up. Please don't pick up. Hey! Hey man, hey Pete, um, dude, I'm so sorry, yeah, no, I meant to call you earlier, it's just been, it's been a crazy day, um, my phone died, and then my dog, um, had to go to the vet, and I've been there all day, and it's just, no, yeah, I did, just the other day, um, but, dude, I'm so sorry, it's over? The show's over. Fuck, um, sorry, one sec, dude. Hey, no, don't you So, it looks like I'm not actually gonna be filming this particular event. But this info is really good for future stuff, so go ahead and like this video and hit subscribe if you enjoyed it. And if you want some more helpful tips, I'll definitely be doing that in the future on just how to be a better filmmaker. I'm um, sorry. Did you forget again? No, like, dude, I didn't. I didn't forget. Not again. It was an accident. <laughs>